Your coach Jerry, 15 assists for Letran in 19 field goals made. So only four unassisted field goals for Letran in the entire first half. That's been the story so far, along with their running game and their dominance and rebounding. Second half begins. You guys are with Martin Aver and coach Jerry Codinera. Quick basket. That was Asido and Roluna connecting. Well executed yung play na yun. Third quarter. Kung sino mananalo ng third quarter so far sa series natin, yun ang nananalo ng games. In the first game, it was Letran. Second game, it was Perpetual. Game number three remains to be seen. Push shot will not go. George Tamate with the offensive board. George is double teamed. Look at the defense of the junior Altas. You see them very obvious tightening the screws defensively, Coach Jerry. Yes, they just pinagala nila na konti speed nila. Hindi ka tulad ng first quarter, talaga naka at bilis eh. Medyo out of control. Oo. Well managed yung atake, timing ng pasa, timing ng screen. Okay, Coach Zoff Cleopas. Again, this is not unfamiliar territory for his team. In game two, they were down by nine to begin that third quarter. And then they came out with a furious rally to inch closer. After that, di kita na, di kita na yung laban natin. Let's see kung kanino last touch to. It looked like it was last touch by JD Pagulayan. But of course, our referees have the better angle. Coach Joff, first year as head coach, has taken a lot of jobs in his life. <laughs> Marketing, being a call center agent as well. He calls coaching his passion. Binabalik-balikan dito dati. At mukhang destiny rin niya to. Pati na rin. Dito kay Coach Alan Ricardo, who after this season, will lead the seniors team as well of Letran. Yes, napakaswerte mga bata ito because uh, kahit kay Coach Allen na provide niya ng mga platform yeah. for training, for exposure yung, with this uh, God Skills Tournament. Kasi Coach Joe Cleopas, ang ganda ng, ano niya, ng mga skills work niya. That's right. Medyo very active siya doon, si Coach Joe Cleopas. Itong dalawang coaches natin, Coach Allen and Coach Joff. You know, kahit si Coach Allen, only his second year at the helm for the Squires. Coach Joff, first season at the helm. Ang dami ng experience na to. Pagdating sa coaching, you know, they've served as assistants, skills coach for different teams, for uh, different schools. Dito po, sa so Philippine ball. basketball. Talaga mga student of the game. They, yeah. sila, they don't stop learning yeah. pagdating sa basketball. Vast amount of experience. All right. It's the track basketball. Silorio. Oh! Does not get the bounce. And LeBron James Diab secures it. Perpetual opting to go with Diaz at the point guard spot. Pagulayan, a little bit too strong. Follow up is good. Ron Luna gets the two plus one special. Medyo na wala yung intensity ng letran dito. Mark. Yeah. Jan Roluna was the magic bunot of Coach Joff in their semi-final matchup with Mapua. Final four matchup with Mapua. He is coming alive again. Let's hear this report from Perpetual side from the dugout. Mona kay Diana Igua. Diana. Morning, and Coach Jerry. According to Ian Napoy, one of the medical team who was attending to Mark Boho Cruz, he already had a previous injury on his left wrist, which was unfortunately the part that was hit during the last few minutes of the second quarter. At sa iniintang sakit niyo ni Mark Boho Cruz, it seems like hindi na makakabalik ito for the rest of the game. As for the team, naging emosyonal mo naman ang bawat isa sa kuponan, pero pinaalalahanan na lang ito ni Coach na hindi pa tapos ang laro. And if they try to step up, they might actually just turn the series around. Martin and Coach Jerry. Maraming salamat, Diana. That's a big piece. Gone now for the junior office. As Malina nails it from the corner. But for Perpetual, they're thinking long-term for Mark Boho Cruz. Mahaba-haba pa ang basketball pa rin na ito. Nagsisimula pa lang. So they're not gonna risk it here. Roluna, that pass was deflected. Talaga, inaabangan nila yung backdoor play na ka doon. 
Oh, George Jamande taking off. Bumuelo si George Don. Let's check out the action. Let's check out Roluna with the basket right here to open the second half. And then the follow up by Jack Roluna, who has been the energizer in the second half for the Junior Altas. All right, let's head to Letran's side and hear it from Glycel Galpo. Glycel, go ahead. Talaga naman kumariba ang Letran Squares with their explosive first half performance during the first half of the game. But despite this good start during the break, the team went over their lapses and reiterated their game plan. Still with the presence of the PBA legend, Kirby Raimundo, Coach Alan Ricardo, together with the other coaching staff, reminded the Squares to look out for the big man of the Junior Altas. Slowly but surely, ito naman ang ataking gustong makita ni Coach Alan going into the second half of the game dahil ali niya sa execution muna tayo bago tayo tumakbo. Doon tayo sa sigurado. Reflect niya rin, they should put more pressure on their backward defense until the end. Yan muna mula sa panic ng Letra. Balik sa inyo, Martin and Coach Jay. Thank you so much, Lysel. So it's Kirby again staying consistent, going to the dugout. Providing some reinforcements para sa coaches as we take a look at this hard foul by Salvo on Jonathan Manalili. The junior autos, it, they're showing less composure to begin the third quarter here, coach. This is not what you want to see. They're still in this game, 12 points. Ang abante dito ng Letran. But the Squires, what a start for them. Listening to their coach coming out of the dugout and now extending their lead. 55-43. Kita mo kaling nagkaroon ng miscommunication siyempre dito sa part ng Perpetual Altas. Pero dito, this time ito ha. Good start. Good start sila sa first quarter. Ngayon this time, nag-start pa rin sila na maganda. Ito ang letter. Not surprised. That was an unsportsmanlike foul on Salvo. After that hard hit on Jonathan Manalili. And Manalili at the free throw line, four out of seven from the field, and knocking down his first free throw today. He's got nine points. But Manalili, eight points, one rebound, one assist, and five steals. Coach Terry. Ang galing, ang galing mabakaw ng passing lane itong batang to, si Jonathan. Yeah. Dangerous pass that was picked off by Asido. By the way, for the Junior Altas, they lost Mark Boho Cruz to injury earlier. And Taep, umupo na rin ngayon with three personal fouls. Oh! Quick play! Padilla! With a two plus one! It's the guards that's killing them. Yeah. The small guards that are off. The squires. How about the deception by Daniel Padilla? Fake the defender that he was going to that corner. Blooming his umibanang direction was left wide open underneath. And Padilla afterwards, though, he was, he was fired up. He's an added to coach. You know, oh, kala mo dyan ako, ha? Palik ako dito. Left alone, easy hoop. And he was fired up afterwards, going after Salvo. The technical free throw is missed, though, by Emil Asido. 15-point advantage for the Squires. Their biggest of the game. Medyo lumalaki na ito. 15 points. Daniel Padilla. At the line. Too strong on the free throw. Rebound. Ball ends up outside. It goes back to Perpetua with some push-ups. Mula dito kay El Jamante. George Jamante. And Padilla will be replaced by Javil Baliling. 7.48 to go. The Junior Altas need to wake up. 
Oh, another pickpocket. Manalini. Wow, that was a far takeoff for Jonathan Manalini. Able to fish a foul. And he heads back to the free throw line. How about this? The master of steals. The man of steals, Jonathan Manalini, with this six takeaway, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pang anim na agaw na ni Manalini. At pareho, interfering passing lanes and on ball defense. Nakakakuha rin siya ng steal. Yes, correct. Meron talaga siyang ganda niya sa likod eh. Huwag nang kumbiyansa ka sa kanya. You turn your back. Hindi mo siya nakita. Kala mo, libre ka na. Ayun yung back tip. Yeah. Back tip sa may kalawit. He's got great timing, Jonathan Manalili. And the rebound. Nahasa talaga siya sa mga laro siya sa sibuna. Six seconds in the good coach Jerry. Oh. And when you have that kind of competition, talaga na mahasa ka. 59-43. Asido. About to shoot for the junior Altas. They are in a bit of a dry spell here. They go back to IC. Nope. Kasingan with a one-handed board. And now it's Jonathan Manalili. Bringing the ball down. Oh, what a play. Two-man game. Manalini, Chamante, Manalini again. Letran re-establishes their biggest lead. Asido straight away is good. Emil Asido rattles that one home. Putting out the fire. Here in the third quarter, Jamante handles. Silorio, who is the leading scorer of the squire so far. George, one dribble in. Oh, that one bounces up. Oh, but George somehow got it back. Yes. Grabe talaga yung ano niya sa bola. Backhand niya sa bola, dito ni Jamante. Knows for the ball. Manalili for three. Another offensive rebound for the time. Padilla! Nope. And the trip for the Squires. Oh, Coro Cruz is back in. Wow. Pagulayan. No. I see Kalyangan gets it. This is surprising. Coro Cruz is fighting it out. Sustained a wrist injury earlier and is back in the game. Kalyangan misses from long distance. Okay. Now they're starting to fall in love with the free coach. Yes. Letran can afford it. Perpetual, though, cannot afford the misses. Yes, yeah, they have to look for the highest field, uh, percentage player para to cut the, the count down the lead. Cut down the lead. Lalo, lalo, to palaki na ng palaki. Ito, Emil Asido. With the counter here, they need more of that. Talking about Perpetual, let's go to a quick timeout. As we come closer to Paris 2024, we're also looking at more athletes that can potentially compete in the Olympics. Here are some familiar names everyone's looking forward to seeing in the upcoming games. Despite placing fourth in the Asian Games in 2023, Philippines' first-ever Olympic gold medalist, Heidelin Diaz, remains positive and focused in the remaining qualification events for Paris 2024. Heidelin already made history in the past Olympics, and surely, Filipinos will be cheering her on as she vies for her spot. If you support Heidelin, go ahead and cheer her on in the comments. Remember when the Philippines won its first Olympic gold medal in 2020? That was also the first time the Philippine national anthem was played on the Olympic podium after trying for nearly 100 years since her first stint in 1924. This is all when Heidelin Diaz Naranjo, or better known as Heidelin Diaz, won. 46, almost halfway done in the third quarter. Chairman of the NCAA Management Committee, Sir Paul Supan. 
also a management committee representative for Jose Rizal University. Back to live action. Mark Goho Cruz, who is back with that wrist injury, taking it strong. Basket and the foul for Mark Goho Cruz. Sabi niya, what injury, Coach Jerry? And how about this? It was Manalini who was hounding him on top. Blue by two defenders. On his way to the hoop. Goho Cruz coming alive right here in the third. Can this spearhead another run for Perpetua? We'll see. He connects on the free throw. It is down to 12. It was as big as 18 earlier. I see Kalyama a little too aggressive on Cruz. Number seven, I see Kalyama, and they're now in the penalty. That's his third personal. Ang masakit dyan para sa perpetual. Penalty na. Itong white shirts natin. So Cruz will shoot two free throws. And this is a situation that Atlantic can take advantage of, Coach. Five minutes remaining. Penalty ni Perpetual, dapat aggressive lang sila. Atake lang ng atake. Yes, yung kailangan mo, maximize mo kung saka advantage. Especially, they have the height. Yeah. Uh, they have the skill, suppose. Labas, perimeter. They have a perimeter game. Yeah. They are 12 out of 21 from the line so far. Cruz misses both. Asido pulls it down. And here comes Icy Kalyangan. Kalyangan, cross-court pass, corner shot. As a John! Down the hatch on the three. The lead is down to nine. Kinalahate, number bet one. Very streaky to Laban. Run after run. Hugo. Navarro, thinking of his move. Jolo in attack. Navarro no go. And Asido pulling it down again. Detran is forced to foul. As we take a look at this play, Kaliangan makes the jumper, cross court pass. Catch and shoot. Asun Shon knocking it down from that deep corner. Again. That's the fourth day of this junior Altas team, three-point shooting. At kapag ka yun ang special team mo, Coach, ay kaano kalaki ang lamang na kalaban, you always have a big chance to come back because of your three-point shooting. Yes, correct. Pero siyempre, may hangganan lang yan. Meron. Hindi mo pwedeng masyadong i-abuso yun. Kung hindi, kailangan meron ka din mga penetration. Go, Cruz! Wow! What a re-entry for Goho Cruz. And here's the defense of the Junior Altus. Navarro takes off. Navarro puts it up and in. Fire extinguisher provided by Jono Navarro. Wayne Valencia. Searching Goho Cruz. Feeling it so far. Pick and roll, Pora. Finishes with the left hand. Uh, some pick and roll for you, shown by the Altas. 57 63. It stays with Lebron. How about this? Valencia spotting Coho Cruz from the top of the key, and he knocks it down. And then afterwards, Jolo Navarro, ito, taking the contact from Bora. Bruce, hounded by Valencia. Valencia! The travel, almost a steal for Valencia. Again, just like what he did in game number two, providing some quality minutes on the floor. Itong si Wayne Valencia. Game two, he had six assists in just 12 minutes of action and was a plus 14 in our box plus minus. 
Ito. Goho Cruz, crossover, pick and roll, and Borja smoothly rolling to the basket. 14 to 4 run by the Junior Altas since the re entry of their mythical five player and rookie of the year, Mark Goho Cruz, who is still playing with a wrist injury. How about the intensity of Asuncion here? Looking at Villanueva straight into the eyes. Yeah. That's what you want to see from the from these high school hoopers, Coach Jerry. Bakbakan ito na mga role players, eh. mga mga role players, mga quality players. Kito na yon. It's their time to shine. Yep. Kailang mamintay mo yung season. Mintay mo lamang or wag tayo mag-negative, wag tayo mag-error. Yeah. Normally, gano'n lang naman ang mga mentality nila eh. But they're playing above par. Grabe. And, and they continue man. to talk, by the way. <laughs> Villanueva and <laughs> Asuncion. <laughs> they're still <laughs> exchanging words here. Only just a few friendly words for each other. All right, 318 left. It's been a long third quarter. Cruz, you go. No. Bakunsa with the board. And here comes Perpetual. Again, they are on a 14 to 4 run. Can they sustain? Goho Cruz. Bakunsa for three. Too strong. And Villanueva with the board. Navarro against Asido. Jolo Navarro will drive right. Cruz the pull up jumper. Get it short. Back the other way we go. Asido. Valencia, high advantage. Asido fakes fly by three. No. And here's Timothy Cruz. Empty trips. This minute, Navarro. Cruz picks it up. Cruz, oh, dangerous pass. Asalini Navarro. You go inside. There's a whistle. Justin Hugo will head to the line. Both teams in the penalty. How about this? Timothy Cruz threading the needle to get that ball to Navarro. And again, expect that cut, that off-ball action from the bigs of Letran. It was Hugo going down the middle on the catch. Six-point lead for the Squires. Nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang former Pinay fencer na si Maxine Esteban. Si Esteban ang first-ever homegrown Pinay athlete na nag-qualify sa fencing competition ng Olympics. Pero... Bilang representative ng bansang Cordivar o Ivory Coast. Sa isang post, sinabi ng decorated athlete ng Olympic qualification niya ay para sa Ivory Coast na yumakap at sumuporta sa kanya at sa Pilipinas na ipinagmamalaki raw ng kanyang puso. 2023 na magpalit ng federation si Esteban. After a controversial decision to part ways with his longtime Japanese mentor Munahiro Kugimiya, Gymnastics phenom Carlos Yulo secured a second trip to the Olympics after placing as the highest ranked eligible athlete in his pet event, the floor exercise in the 2023 World Artistics Gymnastics Championships. Yulo opted out of the 2023 Asiad to focus on the world tournament. It's a six point game right here in game number three. The Tran fans and Perpetual fans. Very anxious right now, Coach Jerry. Kanina kala natin, it was a runaway for the Squares already. Leading it by as many as 18 points. Pero itong humabol ang perpetual. Nagsimula kung pumasok ulit itong si Mark Goho Cruz. But Justin Hugo, all business today. Knocking down the first. Oh, nako. Wow. Nandun lang si Rep sa likod. Nahuli yan. It was Valencia and Cruz. Nagkagit ditan, so 
immediately because it happened right in front of the referee. Immediately he called the unsportsmanlike foul. And that's exactly what they didn't need, Coach Jerry. Oh, oh, a momentum ganyan. stopper like that. Oh, oh, oh. And sometimes, yung pagka nang jan humahabol ka. Uh -huh, yeah. Sometimes it might cause distraction, eh, sa mga kasama mo. Oh. And this is where composure comes in, oh. maturity comes uh, in, as, yes. especially at this stage of the ball game. Lalo penalty. Penalty pa. Uh, oh, yeah. Penalty. Yeah. Cho ka ang ano don, Coach Jerry? Mahabol kayo. Yes. Oh, diba? oh. You, you fell behind big. Now you're starting to chip away. Siyempre, ayaw mong mapigilan yung momentum na yun. Well, at this point naman, they're right on target. Hindi ganong kalaki ang lamang ng uh, squares mm -hmm. dito. Uh, they still have fourth quarter, which is yun na yung uh, killing zone. Yeah. <laughs> yan yan, yan. Patayan na yan. Patayan right. sa ano. Everything uh -oh. on the line. That's gonna be in two minutes and eight seconds. Oh, Dr. Anthony Jose Tamayo, of course, one of the leaders, the leader of the University of Perpetual Health System Delta, is here. Again, they want to make history for their school alongside the chairman of the NCAA Season 99 Mancom, Sir Paul Supan. Grabe support, especially uh -huh. mga estudyante, nakakatuwa para sa Perpetual Altas and same goes with Letran. And we Letran hope squares. you are experiencing this atmosphere, this energy right now. It is electric mm -hmm. inside the Philoil Eco Oil Center. Grabe yung mga fans dito cheering, really giving us that much-deserved Game 3 atmosphere. Hindi lang ano, hindi lang college basketball. All the way dito sa high school, talagang makita mo support. Plus, nakita mo naman itong mga cream of the crop na mga players na right. aakyat. Next year, sigurado. Pagkakaguluan itong mga bata to. Puro five-star recruit lahat ito. <laughs> Blue chip. Oh. Everyone. Oh. From Letran. From Perpetual. They will expect calls. Lalong-lalo na sa mga graduating players na magkabilang panic natin. Kahit hindi graduating eh. May oh. lilipat sa ibang high school team. May mga liligo din dyan. Oh. Yes. All right, Win Valencia. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. Okay, it is an unsportsmanlike foul. So, another bonus shot for the Squires. I'm wondering when they'll be taking the free throw because it happened right in the middle of the attempts. Anthony Justin Hugo, if I'm not mistaken. It was dead ball yun eh. Oh, dead ball lang yari. Oh. So I guess it's after the free throw, later. Tapos ball possession. I, I think ngayon mag free free, free free throw ata. Clarifications here on Sportsman Like on Wayne Valencia and then Timothy Cruz was called for the technical foul. Ayun yung one free throw, one technical. Ito naman, yung para sa Sportsman Like foul. Ayun din, yun yung free throw. Katuluyan yung free throw ni Justin Hugo tapos si Timothy Cruz na. Yung dalawang free throws because of the Sportsman Like foul. Ah, hindi talaga. Makapasok si Timothy Cruz mula sa linya. Zero out of four right now from the free throw line. It's si Cruz. Finally, he's able to get one in. 66, 58, 
Hindi na naantay ni Coach Allen na ipasok Kina. sa fourth quarter. Sabi ni siguro. Kina, Ito na. Mahirap na. <laughs> Super 5. Super 5. Back inside. Ang ba nagpapalitan dyan si Padilla at si Baliling rin eh. Pero kasama pala si Rex Villanueva nandyan pa. Here we go. Let's run hasil. Free throw shooting. Let them have some small free throws so far. Oh! Manalili. Couldn't handle the pass. It was too high. So, balik ang bola dito si Junior Altas. Under two minutes remaining. Pabigat dito sa letran, yung backcourt pressure nila. Ito yung mahilig umistil. This is what we call, Coach, an extended third quarter. Kanina pa tayo nasa third. Valencia. Handles. Manalini falling down. Asido for three. No. And Villanueva secures the rebound. The turn has a chance to extend their lead. They want to finish the quarter stronger and weather the storm. Ooh! Dalawang beses na yun. Yeah. Execution. Medyo nakakaroon sila ng miscom doon. It's either get curl to the basket coming from a staggered screen or fifth player to the corner. Medyo hindi nila mabasa si Manalili. Uncharacteristic for Manalili and Jamante. They've connected seamlessly in this game. Valencia picking up his dribble. Pagulayan, nakapuesto sa loob. Oh! And that's gonna be a foul inside. This is... A new face on the court for the Junior Altas, Kelsey Baldoria. They need more bodies in that front line. Kaya ito si Lebron James Daep, three fouls kanina. Borja needs some rest. He misses on the first. Malamig pa. Ito si Kelsey Baldoria. Mahirap pumasok sa mga ganitong situation eh. Nagahabol, minute to go. And he misses both. Villanueva again tracks it down. George Jamante. Jamante searching. Gets it to Manalili. Closely guarded by Pagulayan. Manalili makes his move. Cross court pass. Baliling. Silorio for three. Hits the back iron that time. Ball is loose. Picked up by Asido. And here comes for Petwal. Baldoria. Palencia for three. Sabi malakas. Half minute left in this exciting third quarter. Medyo ganda ng collapsing defense ng Perpetual Altas dito. Shot dog is down to four. Manalini. Kaboom! A nonchalant three-pointer for Jonathan Manalili. Mamaw na. Grabe. 11-point lead for Letran. Asido attacks. No. And time expires here in the third. The Letran Squires maintain their double-digit lead, 69-58. to When we return, we shall write the final chapter of this NCAA Season 99 Juniors basketball season.